This is a demo of how to use the Mass Data Discovery Portal to access the Virtual Observatory resources. Um, I'll start up here in the left and I'll change the default selection to All Virtual Observatory Collections. And I want to do a positional search around Messier Object M83 with a radius of 3 arc minutes. I'm cheating a little bit. I've already performed this search, so we'll have results uh, a little bit quicker than you normally would. Notice how this bar is almost already full, but if you had done this search yourself, it would probably start around 25%. Um, anyway, uh, we have our typical filters here. Uh, you can sort by type, uh, catalog image and spectra. You can search by the wave band of the resource that you want. Uh, you can pick the name of it if you know what you want. Um, over here in the center we have a list of rows indicating uh, each resource and how many data points they claim to have found using this position and this radius in their resource. Um, I'll pick a, something of a smaller one. Um, Nomad. So we can view information that Nomad has responded to us. We can see details, the exact details of what they said. Um, we can go to their data. I could have just gone to that directly using the button that was over on the left. And what Nomad has given back to us is a basic uh, table of resources that they found. Um, over here in AstroView, we plot those positions that we see. Um, these are not footprints the same way that they are for mast observations. These are just indicating the position on the sky. You see how they stay the same size. They're just centered around the RA and deck that they found. Um, so if we found something that we were interested in, say we only wanted something that was on this side of the sky, and had this blue value, Say I'm, I'm really interested in this one. We can use AstroView, focus directly on it. Um, now, what something that might be interesting to do is to download this as some catalog for yourself. Um, you can get this as comma separated. You can get this in a VO table or an HTML or generic XML file. And export that. You can cut over to it and you can get it in Excel. Additionally, you can have some interplay between the virtual observatory and normal mast missions. See, now we have all the mass missions here in blue. I'll change the color so it's a little more obvious. So we have those catalog objects in orange. We have all the mass missions in yellow. Let's say I only want to see things from Hubble. So now something we can do is to use the AstroView tool to visually inspect uh, say the coincidence of uh, a mast observation with some catalog objects. So for example, let's say I were interested in NICMOS and I wanted to find the catalog objects that were coincident with that NICMOS observation. I can go and highlight these guys, check back to my catalog and they would be here at the top and again showing the export um, I could say that I only want to see the checked objects, and I could make just an export of the objects that I cared about.